back to The Leftovers. This week, we are here with very special guest, Stephen Eldridge. We should tell them why we're making pretzels, would you like to say? Well, we're making pretzels because of the pretzel knot. And the pretzel knot is a special little, um, kind of a pretzel cafe in the play Snow Angel by David Lindsay Bear, which uh, a bunch of NHS students are going to be performing in a few weeks. Uh, and it's a very important part of the play, and they all keep showing up at the pretzel knot to talk things over. So we thought, why not learn how to make pretzels? So, for this recipe, you will need to start by dissolving two teaspoons of active dry yeast. So I dissolve these in here. Put that in there. Do we need anything to mix? Oh, look, we have a thing we can mix with, yeah? Oh, right here. There we go. Put all right. that in yeah, there. Yeah, that all goes in. We're going to mix mm -hmm. first. Yeah. All right. Good. And then we can just give that a good little mix yeah. and then set it aside for 10-ish minutes to, until it's like this creamy consistency. And in a large bowl, mm -hmm. you are going to be taking two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm guessing that's just about two and a half cups. Yep. Right there. You will also be adding, would you like to add the sugar? Sure. Is this also a mixed thing? Do I want to? Yes, you put that right in there. I want, no, no problem if I cross a little bit of the, oh, the no, yeast. All right, That's okay. going to go in here anyway. Yeah, all right. You got it. Now that we have all of our dry ingredients mixed, we will be adding a tablespoon of vegetable oil. After letting your yeast mixture sit, you add it into this dry and oil mixture. So this is getting to the dough, and then we'll have the dough. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll hold this for now. Thank you. Bless you. Just I always have trouble with how much to add at any one time. Mm -hmm. You know, like if you dump it all in, you get this kind of lake and then these clumps. Pretzels are not as easy as they look to make. In other words, you're saying that pretzels are deceptive. It's funny you say that because there's, a, there's some deception that goes on in the play, Snow Angel, right? which features the pretzel knot. And uh, some of the deception happens at the pretzel knot. So there's deception and confusion, which is, uh, I think, something that all cooks experience at one time or another. If the dough is looking a bit dry, which mm -hmm. ours is right now, mm -hmm. you're going to add a few tablespoons of water to kind of even out that, this mixture. We'll put a little tea in right now. See if that, yeah. yeah, that seems about right. Earl Grey. These will be Earl Grey pretzels. I think you're onto something. <laughs> just a little more tea. Yes, a little bit. Can never have enough tea. Oh yeah, right. no, not at all. So, Steve. Yeah. Um, you've been talking about the show Snow Angel. Mm -hmm. Um, while you're working on mixing this up, why don't I ask you? About it. So the show opens Thursday, May 9th. That's the Thursday after, well, for you guys, that'll be next Thursday, if this is coming out on Friday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be in the uh, auditorium at Northampton High School. Uh, it's going to run Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 7 p.m., and we do a matinee on Saturday at 2 p.m. One of the interesting things about this play is it's, it's not that long. I, I, we, we've had a reputation sometimes of putting on Shakespeare plays that seem to go on forever. This play will only run a little bit over an hour. It's very fast paced, it's very funny. You can buy tickets uh, on brown paper tickets mm -hmm. and you can actually just go to snowangel.brownpapertickets.com to buy your tickets for this show. $5 for students, $10 for uh, adults, oh, $5 for seniors, and $5 for NHS faculty and staff. Uh, once you have your dough at a consistency at about this, you're gonna knead it for seven to ten minutes and then set aside for an hour to rise to double its size. There's something satisfying. It's like watching a mind grow. Mm -hmm. I right. thought it'd be smoother. Well, it gets smoother as it rises. Yeah, it does. You just have to give it about another hour. Right. The yeah. final two steps before actually cooking your pretzels is to, one, dissolve a, about a half a cup of baking soda into two cups of hot water. So with this mixture, uh, you will be dipping your final like rolled pretzels right before cooking them. And you will preheat the oven to 450. Okay, so we can roll, and okay. Yeah. And it, it, like, it seems to like my hand. It's okay. very sticky. Yeah, yeah it is. Like Look at that, you've got an actual 
pretzel shape. That's an actual pretzel shape. Look what I have. It looks like um, a moonscape. Now that we have this dipped, we will be cooking it. <laughs> Steve. Yeah. Would you consider yourself a drama queen? That's kind of a high status for me. Mm. I might be more of a drama jack. You know, someone just above the tens, but not quite up into the royalty. As someone, again, who has taken one of your classes, and I'm sure for anyone else who has taken one of Steve's classes, um, you appreciate failure, but continue to have a positive attitude. How do you enforce that? I, I had a really brilliant teacher myself who constantly reminded us to fail gloriously. Mm -hmm. That if you're going to fail, really fail. If you're going to try, really try. Don't try to only try enough so that you don't fail too badly. You know, one of the reasons I love the theater is that the only way to learn in the theater is to try things and make big mistakes and learn from them and then try another thing and then try another thing, which really related to my life, you know. So I try to teach students to fail gloriously as well, to really, really go after something and learn from what happens. That was my final question for you, Steve. Would you like to give one last final shout out for the Snow Angel show? Come see Snow Angel. It is so funny. It is so delightful. The 16 teens on stage are so amazing. And the other dozen teens who are backstage doing all of the designing and tech are really amazing. I just think you're going to love this show. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you very much.